Now this one, it was, um, when it arrived to us first, it was already refinished and a good amount of work had been done to it in terms of rebuilding. Um, rebuilding a piano is a little different from our normal refurbishment process. Um, with refurbishment, we're mostly working with the existing parts of the piano, whereas rebuilding is more an extensive parts replacement process. Um, so this guy has been kind of both rebuilt and refurbished by us. Um, and I'm gonna go over both how it plays and what the process was that we did to it. So, a couple of things. One really great thing about, you know, these large old Steinway uprights, um, especially, you know, if you put, let's say, a fresh set of strings in them, they're gonna sound amazing. One reason why, they make these guys really big, really tough, and they use incredibly good quality materials. Um, but musically, the result of this, we have a 49-inch piano, which is actually an inch taller than, let's say, a Yamaha U1 or a K300 upright. Um, it's just a touch taller than that. Um, but in terms of strength, it's actually pretty beyond that and approaching, I would say, like a five and a half foot grand or so. I mean, just listen to the bass strength. with the boldness to it as well. Um, a sound quality that you just associate with Steinway. Um, now this one, it has its original ivory keys and they're just in really nice condition. I'm gonna get a closer shot of these. Um, but overall, you know, the key action, we've done a lot of work to regulate it um, and to level the keys and to get it playing as great as possible. The majority of the action parts on the inside are original from 1918 Steinway parts. Um, however, there's actually pretty minimal amount of wear on them. I mean, obviously something, you know, around this age, you're going to expect that it has been used. In fact, you would want this piano to have actually been played. Um, but there's, there's a little bit of a, a wear on the keys. But after a really good regulation service, it's playing fantastically. Still very sensitive. Um, I mean, so to speak, it's not going to play like a brand new piano, but it plays fantastically. And for a lot of people, you, know, you, you might not want something that plays exactly like a brand new piano. Um, another thing I really love, the black keys here are raised up seemingly a bit more than ordinary. And I don't know, they just have a lovely texture to them. 
um, your mid range here. This has a real lovely tone. Um, I would say that it, it beats out again like a lot of baby grands in, in tonal strength. On um, your upper register. a very impressive amount of tone um, on an instrument like this, um, both being an upright and an older upright, though it has been rebuilt. Typically, that amount of tonal life you're just not going to find up on top. So a couple things I want to show you a little more closely. One, the ivory keys themselves, because they're just really, really nice. Very good condition on these. There's some slight yellowing, some tiny little chips. Actually, I think that's just about it in terms of chips, this little bit here. Um, but otherwise, you know, pretty extraordinary for original ivory from 1918. Looking at the inside here, some things that were replaced, you know, our tuning pins were replaced. Um, those hammers were replaced at some point in its life. I believe it was rebuilt around 20 to 30 years ago. It was restrung, um, so these strings here, you know, are obviously not 110-ish years old, or they would be, uh, you know, completely dull brown uh, from oxidation. You can see the dampers were replaced as well. Um, the damper felts, I believe, the whole dampers, and the soundboard is in actually remarkably good condition for something of this age. So one thing you might notice here is. The back posts, which these guys are, by piano standards, huge. They're pretty much like two back posts tied together, each one. So of course, the stronger the piano is built, the better it can project out its sound. And the real nice thing, because this is a 1918 original, it's gonna use old growth wood. And one way you can tell is by how close together those grains are on the wood. Um, that means that these were trees that grew very slowly over many, many years, as opposed to most of the wood we have today. I believe it's something like 99% of the wood available today is going to be more like fast growth wood um, that got replanted by lumber yards. But the wood quality, definitely completely unbeatable and it only gets better with, age, with more age. So that contributes to the sound tremendously. But, or rather, another thing to notice is just the great shape that this is in. I'm going to turn my flashlight on here and really no, no real issues to report on the soundboard. And that's, that's actually very surprising. Um, you would expect, um, actually here, no separation at all. I'm not even sure if... Uh, I'm not even sure if I would count that as a crack. It barely, it one one tiny hairline crack is what I would say there, um, and that doesn't even stretch beyond over here. So this this guy's in really really nice condition, very good wood quality, and overall it's just an absolute joy to play. Um, one other thing to note on this piano, it's going to be underneath here. And I'm gonna open our knee board. So we actually replaced the lower bridge here, um, which you can tell that that wood compared to that original bridge, that one has been replaced, but it's been done professionally. It's a brand new bridge, so it's gonna be very sturdy, very capable.
in summary here is just a fantastic piano if you you know are thinking about hey should i go for a brand new piano or you know should i go for something that's just been rebuilt and is playing excellently if you're looking for what might have the more character usually it's going to be the rebuilt older piano this guy is just one of the very best you can have um, so thank you so much for watching um, again, my name is Max. Um, you can email me, max at familypiano.com. If you like this kind of content, just learning more about pianos, uh, you know, please like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out our channel. So thank you so much for watching.